Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to improve or upgrade your Windows 11 uh, right-click uh, menu items. So you might have noticed with Windows 11 you right-click anywhere, you know, the desktop, a file, whatever. You have to go to show more options to get to what, you know, the things you really want to see there. So we did a video on how you could revert back to the Windows 10 style right-click menu. So I'll put a link in the description for that. But the way uh, Microsoft's changing Windows 11 here, that might not work forever. So as an alternative, we have this other app called Shell that you could download from their website, nilesoft.org. I'll put a link in the description. So there's two ways you could do it. You could install the, the app, or you could download the portable version and just run the executable. The main difference is that if you install it, then it'll be you know in your start menu here for, under all apps. And then if you just do the portable, you'll have to find the executable file each time and run it from there. So I have the uh, download here. Uh, unzipped it, so just made the shell, exe with some other supporting files here, so either one works exactly the same. So to use it, you're going to have to run it as administrator, even if you run it from your start menu, you have to right-click run as administrator. So once you do that, you'll get this register option. So you just do this the one time, register it, and I'll restart Windows Explorer. And now, You made my restart. Sometimes start restarting Windows Explorer will kill your, your background, so I got a black desktop now. Uh, so now when you right click, you have this new menu here, you know, with all kinds of view options, sort by, refresh. Uh, you could open the terminal to the wherever you're right clicking. You could open terminal, uh, PowerShell, command prompt, file manage from there, go to all these folders here. So I want to go to my users folder, just click on that, it'll take me right there. And then when you right-click on files, same thing. You get some options. All your usual send to, uh, file manage. If you want to copy the path to that file, take ownership, which is kind of a nice feature. Toggle the options uh, for you know system files and show and hide uh, file extensions. The attributes for the file. And here's the same go to. Go to control panel. Run. Go to settings. And you have your cut, copy, Delete, create shortcut right from there. That's nice too. More options, copy as path, give access to people. If you're using the previous versions of shadow copies, you could do that too. Scan it, print, regular properties, and so on. So it's a pretty cool little feature there. And also on their website, they do allow you to create your own menus and stuff, but you need to be able to do all the syntax and type it in and, and know how to do all this I don't want to call it coding, but that type of thing. It's not like a GUI where you could just create your own menus and so on. You have to put some work into it. And then eventually they're going to come out with cool stuff like this where you could have some transparent menu items and colors and so on. That's coming out in the future. So, like I said, once you download it, just either install it or run it from the executable. So if you, if you install it, you'll have it here under Shell, but you have to right-click it run it as administrator to, to open it. Otherwise, it'll give you an error saying you're not, you don't have the rights to run it. And then if you want to unregister and go back, you just click on unregister, restart Windows Explorer, and then you'll have your uh, old menu back. So you could toggle back and forth between it. So like I said, I'll put a link in the description for this. You could try it out. Uh, seems to be a safe file. We haven't seen anything bad with it when we tested it out in the virus checker and so on. So it seems to be okay. So give it a shot and see how it compares to the uh, Windows 11 default menu, and you'll probably like it better. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.